world of YouTube out to here on route to Rollstone Street due to a dream I had this morning and I'm literally freaked out um, I'm gonna show you <coughs> uh, where exactly the minds of a dream I had this morning and the dream was about as I put it in another video I don't know I was in a conversation with a couple men I don't know who the men were <clears throat> here we are turning on to Rollstone Street but in this video let me stop here for a moment and let you get a view of the Rollstone Street area which as you can see starts into a hill now this dream I have and I wake up out of it is about in the conversation of someone saying about John Fitch mines and mines the gold mines the coal mines is what it was and if people don't know what mines are it's M-I-N-E-S mines um Back in the 1800s, they'd be digging in mountains and stuff and gravel, dirt, and up in this case, in this area, they were digging in granite for gold and silver, supposedly under the granite rocks of the place where I'm going to show you. <clears throat> but this, to have this dream and to wake up out of this dream, and I immediately went to the phone and punched in... Um, the abandoned, the abandoned um, John Fitch Mines in Fitchburg, Mass. And what comes up is a bunch of stuff about mines in other states and stuff. And But there was an article that was written by a newspaper at the time in Fitchburg. Dated back 1830s, no, 18... 63 I believe it's up there in date and they were talking about Fitchburg Mass in 1836 and that might have been the beginning era of this town and the or the beginning era of digging up granite and selling it in this town that's what I wanted to say so <clears throat> as we travel along this road like I say, I'm going to bring you to where the old quarries were. Now, these quarries, I walked through it a couple times as a kid. But it used to be a popular party place. And I didn't make it to them parties because by the time I got up into my partying age... Everyone died out from going to this place due to the fact now I don't know if someone was maybe killed there, but I know the police were always, you know, getting involved and in kicking them out of them quarries for due to purposes unknown. Well, of course, the partying, but and I think they had bonfires in there and everything, you know, <clears throat> kids do back in the day. But as you can see now, I want to make uh, known to this to these pine trees. Now the article I read speak of these pine trees, and I believe this area. As I'm going to point the camera over here, so you can see in the background of the houses is hills, and I think that's why they call it Pine Hills. And um. Because there was once a lot of pine trees in this area. And as you can see, there's still pine trees that exist. But there were more back before they cleared them to start building. Now, going up this street. I forget the name of it, but it's near Hazel Street in Fitchburg. Um, is the inner circle of the... Uh, quarries 
And this right here, this wooded area where the bricks are, this is one of the most popular entrances that was um, there. What the teens used back in the you know, late 70s, early 80s to get into the quarries. Because uh, I, I believe that was probably one of the most safest ways to get in it at the time. But um, I'm still trying to... I, I got to do a lot of investigating on this. Figuring out stuff. But like I said, <laughs> people back in the day, as you can see, as we roll up on here, there are the left over remains of rocks of the quarries that once stood in this area. They had torn it all out, and I don't know what they did with all the other rocks, but to make this cul-de-sac of houses, which they took away a historical landmark in my eyes, but <clears throat> who knows what lied here back in the 1800s besides the rocks, but as you can see, The big mound of rocks here. I don't know. And I forget how far them rocks came out before they tore all this down. I mean, this whole area was the, you know, inner section of the quarries. And this is probably the last wall that stands, of course. And, um, and like I said, the, uh, entrance way would be coming in from over that way in the woods. The entrance we drove by on the main road, but uh, yeah, as you can see, they, they dramatically changed this whole thing into a cul-de-sac. And, um, but they claim under these rocks that we are looking at right now, and who knows under these houses may lie gold and silver but they I don't know I can't I don't even remember where would be the um, mines to these quarries but they started something that they did not finish why is un it don't say why in that article I read I mean I'm gonna put it up on my um pick, the uh, thumbnail pick, and you can, uh, with the picture of the article, I'm going to see what I can get for a good picture of the name of the article, so if you want to check it out yourself and read it, you can, but like I said, this quarry was once the sale of granite <laughs> and the mystery of where is the gold and silver. I'm sure if you were to rip down that mound or start digging beneath, you probably would find it. But now you got houses here, you ain't going to be digging nothing. <laughs> why they, like I said, why they gave up on that is beyond me. But who knows if this was, um, you know, Indian land <laughs> and sacred land and they got in trouble or something. But whatever it may be. This is a part of history of Fitchburg, Mass. That literally I found from a dream. I mean, this dream just literally freaks me out just to even think of it. And um, to find this article due to this fact, I mean, it's like, wow, what what the fuck am I really dreaming about? What's really coming to me is just literally freaking me out lately and. I haven't had a dream in so long of anything that would, uh, you know, amount to something like this. But other than that, I mean, I'm still just literally just <laughs> trying to take in and comprehend what I dreamt about this morning. You know, John Fitch's mines and John Fitch mines and there's mines that have been started in this town and never finished but... To find out this is, is one historical thing I'll never forget in my life. Whether I, unless I go senile, but yeah. 
Anyways, I thought I'd share that with you and disbelievers of dreams and ghosts and things. Well, guess what? You better stop believing now because, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, you can believe this video or not. I don't care what anybody says. My, I, I just, I can't explain it, but something's literally putting me in this predicament and whatever it is, um, <laughs> I hope more comes out of it, <laughs> especially around this way, but like maybe some gold and silver. <laughs> and that YouTube nation till the next video, <laughs> I'm sure it'll be a good one, <laughs> hopefully. Enjoy. Out.